Hey guys, I want to do a quick explanation about the DOM and the different parts of it and what they mean. So I'm going to kind of go over it. People have different layouts, but the most common layout is I'm going to first draw a rectangle to show and then the columns. So the main column that people usually have here on the left is the volume column. And so it's going to be volume um, by price. So say we have prices over here, right? We have all these prices. And then this volume is just showing the volume transacted at that price, right? And so that's what people will normally have on the left side. And on the right side, what they'll usually have is something similar, um, but it's usually split down the middle. And it essentially will show you like the deltas by at a price. So instead of like being a delta at a time, it's a delta at a price. So let's say at this location, right, we have the most volume. Um, over here, you can see if there's any imbalances in the um, buy side or sell side. So on one side, it'll usually be red, and this will denote that this is um, how much volume was sold at the price, like sold at market into the bid, right? So for example, let's say at this location, we have huge volume right here and little volume right there, and at that location we went up, that could mean, okay, we sold, people aggressively sold into here and possibly now they are trapped. And so it's just volume, but it separates the buy side and the sell side. And so you can see some discrepancy, some differences at certain prices. Um, at most prices, I think it's usually just gonna be generally like the same on both sides like that. Um, but you can kind of get some insight by using it and seeing where there is more volume on either side, right? So get the price, volume, and then this is like the separated volume right here. And then normally what we'll have is we will, um, depending on how where people have it located, um, you will have the offer right here. So you will see all, let's say price is, let me draw more, more of these price lines. So let's say price is in here. So the offer, it's going to show you where people are willing to sell and how many contracts. So we could have like 100, 57, 60. And then over here, on the other side, we would have the bid. And so now below that, I don't even know why I drew it right there. It's a bad spot. So then over here, we could say, okay, now we have people willing to buy 50 contracts at 04, 150 contracts at 05. And the bid and the offer, this stuff doesn't usually matter too much if you are a DOM trader. It can give you some insight, but a lot of it's electronic. And so at any moment, these bids or these offers can just disappear in an instant. So you may be able to figure out some way to get um, some sort of insight out of it. But for me, the most part, it is doesn't give you too much insight. And then in the middle, we have the tape. So this would be like the buy side tape, and this would be the sell side. And how this works is usually you'll have a reset time, right? So you're only seeing the tape within a certain given amount of time. And once that time has lapsed, it will reset once it goes to that price again. So let's say people just keep buying into this location. This can go 
okay, now we have two bought into that, and then it'll, as more people buy, it'll keep racking up numbers. Let's say it gets like 100, and then we have sell 200 into here, right? And then what will happen is eventually, let's say we trade up into here, these will probably, these will stay here, at least with the DOM that I use, these will stay here. And let's say we trade back into it a little bit later, like let's say 10 or 15 seconds later, we come back down into here. Um, if your reset time is less than that, if we come back down into here, we trade into the buy side right here, or let's say we sell into here. Let's say we sell two contracts here. What's going to happen is this is going to reset. So instead of being 202, this will just become two and it'll reset. And then if we buy up into here, this is going to reset to what, however many contracts we buy. Let's say we buy somebody buys 10 contracts, right? And so if, for example, we were to um, not have a reset time, this um, tape, which is essentially a tape by price, right? We're seeing how many contracts are sold and bought into each price. Um, but we're only seeing the recent, most recent action. And if it were not to reset, if we had no reset time, it would essentially just be this, right? We're just seeing these numbers add, add up, add up, add up, add up, kind of like volume, but with the buy side and sell side. Um, but the reason why the tape on this DOM is helpful is because it is showing you the most recent action and it resets. And then you can, obviously you can, um, reset it yourself. Some people have hotkeys to reset the action so that it, the numbers don't keep adding up. Um, and that can be helpful sometimes too if you have a longer reset time where your numbers are just adding up, adding up, adding up, you can just reset it. So this is a way to see the most recent action on the tape and then see which side it's on, buy side or sell side and you can see the differences there. And that's pretty much all that you normally see on a DOM. You can also see stacking and pulling, which I'm not gonna show, but stacking and pulling would just be if let's say the bid is at 50, let's say somebody adds five, um, then that would show on the stacking, or let's say the somebody pulls five, this becomes 45, and then the on the stacking pulling column, it would show negative five. And so you can kind of see the changes in the bid and offer, but to me, the bid and offer and stacking um, doesn't provide you too much insight into anything really. Um, Cause like a lot of times what I'll see is I'll see like 500 on the offer or on the bid, sorry. And then we just trade straight into it sell 500 immediately and just blow through it. So it, it's kind of hard to think, okay, now there's 500 at bid. That means it's going to be hard to break through that level. I don't really think that that's true, even that much with that much accuracy to even be worth um, looking at.